Hey everybody, it's Blah Blah Peas, and welcome to the finale of Vin's story and Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. Last time, lots of cutscenes, we just bounced all over the place, there was very, very little gameplay at all. Uh, no fights whatsoever, but, oh, fights? You looking for fights? You're about to find some! Let's go, Keyblade Graveyard. Friends forever. Here we are at the Keyblade Graveyard. Gonna go ahead and round up any last second chests that I can. I doubt I'm actually gonna use anything in these, but it'd be cool to at least have them. This is just the map. Or Xehanort's report. I'm completely wrong. Never mind then. Um. All right. Well, if you're looking for all the Xehanort's reports, that's two that I found in Vinsori by accident. Um, just going around collecting things. This is the map. Yeah. See, I have that problem of always assuming that a big chest is going to be the map, which is why I ended up instinctively uh, running into those, like, spider chests all the time when I first played the game. But anyway, this is exactly like before. The, the entire world is just four different areas. Uh, I can most likely just skip all this with Super Glide. I just want to see out of curiosity if I can. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, easy. But nope, I'm going to come back and fight here just a little bit so I can. Oh. Giga Unverse? Uh, didn't expect to see any of these just now. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and level up uh, all my commands to max level. Shouldn't take me too long. See, there's already uh, one level up. But yeah, I'll see you guys whenever I've maxed everything out. Alrighty, that only took two of those uh, tornado batches and everything should be maxed out now. Oh, almost everything. I'm sorry. Two more rogas. I'll be right back. Alrighty, all good. Very easy being at level 30. I'm going to just blame it on that. Otherwise, I don't think I'd be going through those unverse quite as easily. Anyway, we got Fish and Firaga maxed out, so we got that magic haste. Uh, I did just get Wind Raid uh, from one of these chests. Uh, I'm not sure if this is any good, so I'm actually going to check this out real quick. Just because I'm curious, because I don't recall ever using it. And to get it this late in the game in a chest, maybe it's worth it. Okay, so it's basically a strike raid that goes everywhere. Uh, I'll try it just out of curiosity because nothing else screams put me in the deck. Because to be honest, if anything else, I would just put another cure in there. But like anything over Fish and Firaga because it's not great. I mean, it does decent damage, but honestly, I, I prefer regular Fyraga. I don't know if it's meant to be better in hordes or something, but it's not... It's not anything worth bragging about. Also, it... It seems that it, uh... Reduces... Well, not reduces. It prevents hit stun, but you will still take damage while it's being used, so... Maybe that'll be bad, but we'll just wait and see. Also, a magic increase of all things. 
you know what? Screw it. It doesn't look like it's gonna take that long to level up, so I'm gonna go and level this up too. I shouldn't level up regularly anymore, so. All right, let's see uh, what this is like maxed out. I swear, those mandrakes are a pain in my everything. Jeez, that's the only thing that was able to kill me because they just keep shooting their little razor wind things over and over and over again. And this thing also is not maxed out. It is level four and it goes to five. Wowzers, what is this ability? Well, what is this command? Jeez, and what's this last chest while I'm over here anyway? Mega Potion, meh. Okay, level five should definitely be maxed out. Yes, it is, okay. So, it seems to be putting in some work against these hordes of enemies, but I don't know how it's gonna be against, you know, the final bosses. But we'll see, I, I'm curious, I'm gonna leave it in. And the rest of my deck seems to be doing just fine. And I went the wrong way. All right, other side. And there's the final save point, Moogle Shop. What could I buy if I really wanted to? Uh, well, a wind raid. Uh, nothing else of any major import. Magnega could be, maybe, I don't know. Maybe not against bosses. But anyway, that's it. This is the final loadout. Over level, level 32. Kind of embarrassed by that. Like I said before, I only want to be level 25. But, oh well. As we take this long final stride, we realize once again, depressing stuff is about to happen. And you're gonna see half of the old stuff and half some new stuff. Prepare whatever you use to wipe your eyes with tears. I was told the master was struck down. <laughs> yes, that's right. I was stupid and helped saying or do it. <laughs> the master, he tried to hurt Ben. I only fought because I wanted to protect him. But I was tricked. Xehanort set the whole thing up. Also, he could awaken the darkness inside me. You were right, Aqua. And so was the Master. I did need to be watched. I went astray. But no more. What else is darkness but hate and rage? Xehanort is feeding the dark fires within you, making you fight. You'll go astray again. Tell me, how does that honor our master's memory, Terra? Xehanort wants me and Benitez to fight. Make some kind of keyblade. But the Master said we can't let that happen. And he tried to destroy me for it. Keyblade? I still don't know exactly what it is. But it scares me to death. Even just the thought of it. Relax, man. We're here, and we're gonna take care of you. 
I may have to fight Vanitas after all. If I do, guys, I... I want you to... The three of us can never be torn apart, all right? I'll always find a way. I'm asking you, as a friend. Just... put an end to me. Lifeless keys used to be full of power. United with the hearts of their masters. On this barren soil, key blades of light and darkness were locked in combat. As a great keyblade war raged, countless keyblade wielders gave up their lives, all in search of one ultimate key. And it will soon belong to me. Keyblade! How about you leave the popsicle with me, so you can go have your little fight with Terra? You can't be too happy about him deep sixing your master. <laughs> Who are you? You think you two have got some grand role to play? As if. You're only here so that when I finish you off, Terra will succumb to the darkness. So, who wants to go first? Shut up! Oh, so this kiddo thinks he's a full-fledged Keyblade wielder. He's got the angry look down. Go ahead if you want to waste your time. Keep trying to drive us apart with your mind games. It'll never work. Pro 
proves to you he's stronger! <sighs> Aqua! I keep forgetting don't mess with Keyblade wielders. But you know what? That just means I made the right choice. Well, he wanted me to buy time, and I'd say he got it. What? This man just defrosted from sheer willpower! I bet I see you! Alright, hold up. Before anything, while he's doing all this, let's hit him with a nice and powerful shot lock. As doing way more damage than I thought it was going to. Oh, too slow. I thought, I, for some reason, I thought I was done. Alright, so let's set up these mind shields. Make him keep running into those. Aronga, knock him into it again, set up a mind square, and yep, whenever he comes in, surprise! Alright, so, so far he's like halfway dead, and this is essentially what I wanted to do the entire time. Freeze Raid actually stunning him temporarily? Everything is going way better than even planned, I don't know how that's possible. All right, he's uh, doing this underground attack. Just keep dodge rolling and eventually you'll avoid him whenever he comes up. Jeez, it took you a while to come up, didn't it? Now let's see if Win Ray does anything here. Uh, could have actually killed me, actually. Hmm. See ya. So let's run around here. All right, you gotta stop. Just for, just, just for a moment. Which, which please? Oh, he ran right into it. Oh. All right, come on. While he's stunned. Got him. Alright, if I can get him right back into it. No, no, no. Surprise. Aw, oh, dang it. Oh, oh, hey, it worked. Oh, okay, stop. Back up, back up. Cure. Just, ooh, I was doing that to be safe. There we go. And while he's riding on the Keyblades, easy kill. Man, being level 32 might have me overpowered, but honestly, even if it wasn't for the level... That whole command deck style definitely works. You've done it, Ventus. <laughs> now that my body is about to perish, you and I will have to join together. <laughs> the Keyblade will be forged! <laughs> <laughs> Me in verse come from you? <laughs> it happened when you and I were split into two. The negativity took shape as these monsters. They are what I feel. A horde of fledgling emotions under my control. I released them in all the worlds I could. Hoping to lure you away from home and isolate you from your master. We needed to make you stronger. The Unversed were the perfect opponents. And better yet, no matter how many times you defeat them, their negativity flows right back into me. You never stood a chance against us, Ventus.
our union was not finished. The Keyblade shouldn't stay broken like this. Join me now. We can complete the Keyblade! I've got a better idea. How about I destroy you both? <laughs> the Keyblade is made of your heart too, idiot. If you destroy it, your heart will vanish forever. Whatever it takes. Anything to save Terra and Aqua. <laughs> it's always about your friends, isn't it? At least I have some. I've become a part of their heart. Just as they become a part of mine. My friends are my power, and I'm theirs! Three things. Number one, did you look like Sora? Number two, uh, my friends are my power and I'm theirs? Huh, what a Sora thing to say. Uh, number three, don't worry, I have not forgotten about Aqua, even though she was kind of bouncing around like a rag doll, uh, appearing very much dead. Don't worry, she ain't dead. Uh, now, first things first, I'm trying to dodge all these attacks until he's at a standstill and I can safely heal, but he won't stop. There we go. We're good. No, excuse you know what? Just for that, we're gonna get some of these. And that is a lot of damage, jeez! That's not even gonna take that much to, uh, to get that back. See, while he's doing all this foolishness, he can run right into the, uh, the mine shields and squares. You can direct him right over it. And they can't hurt you, so just do it. All right, I'm gonna just chill right here till he runs right over. And there goes one, there goes another. Blow him around a little bit. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, no escape except I can just dodge right to the side and we're good. All right, so no, no more win raids from me. Ah, oh, that was actually a little too slow. You got me. You got me. Oh, come on! I was hoping to get the shields up first, get some damage going. Yeah, this right here should have been the KO, but now I'm worried about dying. So. Yeah, we, we should still be good, though. I'm gonna set up the shield specifically, just in case. There you go. And one more time. Oh, I was just out of place. All right, come here, boy. Come right over the mines, right over the... You son of a gun. You know what? Here you go. Try it again. All right, one more hit, and there it is. Now we're in the finisher. Which I'm trying to remember exactly how to time. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. And I screwed up. Of course I did. I'm just gonna cut till I get back to there, because as you saw, the rest of the fight's rather easy. Alrighty, we're back. And seriously, it's so weird that you're fighting Vanitas within your own heart. Well, both your hearts. But anyway, finish him. Yeah, easier said than done because when all your commands are gone and you have no way of healing anymore, and he can just randomly do whatever to you. I don't know, I always just found this part really weird. Like, I love when he collides with you and you just rotate and do this. That makes the first phase of this so much easier. But just pressing the right button at the right time? Sure, should be simple enough, but if you press the wrong button at the wrong time or if he gets you first, good luck. And now here, Why? GG, last word.
And there's another one of Zane Orch reports. But before we close things out, one last thing. The fact that the key blade is actually two kingdom keys crossing pads with an actual sword coming out of the middle. And for everyone who says the Keyblade is not a real sword. This place. I've been here. So warm. I remember now. This is your heart. Well, Vanitas was the dark side of Vin. Looked like a dark Sora. Then looks like Roxas. Either things are coming together now for you, or they're way more confusing than you thought they were to begin with. Either way, it's fine. Uh, you'll get your answers if you haven't already uh, soon enough. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But, yep, there you go. That is Vin's story in Birth by Sleep. Now, yeah, we've only got one story left, and that's Aqua's. And as you've seen, Aqua is kind of in and out of both stories, but for the most part, she's never there. So Aqua's story is going to be just as separated as the rest of them. But at the beginning of the game, Aqua is entitled to certain knowledge as a Keyblade Master, so we're going to get filled in on that. Uh... She was kind of knocked unconscious, but then was suddenly holding Vin's hand at the end of the game. So that kind of shows that she's got her own final battle going on as well. Uh, Mickey found them. So Aqua's portion technically isn't even done yet. But since Vin's out of commission, because his heart's been shattered and he went off to join uh, another protagonist's heart for, you know, safekeeping and whatnot. Uh, he's done. Terra's lingering will is perched on top of a giant rock. So that's cool. Uh, these two are doing stuff and things. Uh, yeah, this is a whole jumbled mess at this point. And don't worry, there's something else I'm going to mention about, uh, like Huey, Dewey, and Louie. For those of you that have been thinking about it. And it's with the whole consistency and, uh, you know, timeline continuity. If you know what I'm talking about, great. If you don't, don't worry. I'll, I've been explicitly waiting until Aqua's story because there's two things I want to say whenever we get to that point of the game. So just wait till we get back to Disney Town. Uh, see, just know that it has to do with aging. And the fact that they're kids, and they're still kids of Kingdom Hearts 1, and, yeah, and all that good stuff, and Kingdom Hearts 2, yeah, still the same age. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna delve a little deeper into that. Uh, now it makes sense with, like, Peter Pan and them, because Neverland, they never age, so that was the perfect choice for a world, but everything else is kinda confusing. Also, um, yeah, once again, I'm a little bothered by the fact that Ericus and Terra didn't even bother to talk. Like, seriously, all three of them could have talked it out and be like, hey, let's gang up on Xehanort. Cool, great! 
and Aqua could be coming in like, I heard something was, oh, don't worry about it. We got to cover. Join us. All right. 4v2. Let's go. But nah. Ericus ruined everything by being a complete moron that's obsessed with light. Has the darkness taken you, Xehanort? Has the darkness taken you, Terra? Dude, you could have stopped Xehanort then and you didn't. What are you doing? And then he even admitted, oh yeah, I could, I could have stopped them then. But I won't let this mistake happen again. No, you don't, don't let the mistake happen. Don't prevent the mistake by destroying the could be Keyblade. Make it never happen again by teaming up with the could-be Keyblade and destroying the bad guy. It's This is all Ericus's fault. Terra may be gullible as hell, and Xehanort might have played him like a violin, but your boy Ericus is to blame for everything that happened. Save game. I'm a chill now. I'm fine. And now we're gonna have clear data as Vin. And be sure to hang on to this clear data. You may find use for it down the line. Yeah, sure, whatever. More importantly, Aqua Story is coming up next. So until then, hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Ring that bell for notifications for future uploads. And I'll see you guys when I see ya. Bye bye.